on Friday, the day Prince Harry and Oprah Winfrey's new docuseries, The Me You Can't See, premieres. The pair appeared on Good Morning America together, where Harry explained that the best way to deal with mental health is to be open about it. The best that we can all do collectively is continue to talk and share stories that are so relatable to so many people around the world. In the docuseries, Harry shares more details about growing up as a royal and how it affected his mental health. He shares that his struggles intensified when he was 12 years old because of the death of his mother, Princess Diana. He reveals that his requests for help were met by, quote, total silence and total neglect by the royal family. He claims that when it came to his mental health struggles, he was told to grin it and bear, explaining, quote, family members have said, just play the game and your life will be easier. But I have a hell of a lot of my mum me. Harry also reveals that his wife Meghan Markle cried before their March 7th interview with Oprah aired because of the smear campaign led by the UK media. Just days before their interview, there were reports that Meghan had bullied one of her close advisors during her time as a working royal. Meghan's office has strongly refuted the claim, but Harry remembers how he held her and talked to her while she cried. In the first episode of the series, Harry also reveals that one of his two-year-old son Archie's first words were grandma, explaining that he is a photo of Diana in the nursery. He calls his son saying grandma the sweetest thing, but admits that at the same time, it makes him really sad because she should be there with them. On Thursday, the day before the docuseries premiered, Harry released a statement breaking his silence on the inquiry into Martin Bashir's 1995 interview with his mother. The inquiry determined that Bashir used deceitful methods to secure the controversial sit down. Harry said in a statement that his mother lost her life because of Bashir's interview, saying the ripple effect of a culture of exploitation and unethical practices ultimately took her life. Harry's brother, Prince William, also released a statement calling for the interview to never be aired again. He said, it is my view that the deceitful way the interview was obtained substantially influenced what my mother said. William continued by saying, the interview was a major contribution to making my parents' relationship worse and has since hurt countless others.